For more videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Make sure to tune in to our next video, DC Machine Design Part 6. Selection of Number of Poles Contents 1. Factors Depending Selection of Number of Poles 2. Choice of Number of Poles Depending Factors Frequency Number of Iron Parts Weight of Copper Labor Cost Commutator Length Flashover Distortion of Field MMF Frequency P equal to 120 F by N. If P increases frequency increases and losses increases. So frequency of flux reversal is limited to 25 to 50 Hz. Number of iron parts. Let total flux equal to phi T. Number of turns equal to T. In case of two pole machine flux under one pole is phi T by 2. And flux under yoke is phi T by 4. In case of four pole machine flux under one pole is phi T by 4. And flux under yoke is phi T by 8. When number of poles increases flux in yoke decreases and iron required for transferring flux in yoke decreases. Weight of copper. A two pole machine is shown with a turn of winding. This is the active parts of winding and these are the inactive part. When number of poles increases weight of an active part reduces. Thus weight of copper reduces when poles increases. Labor cost. We know EMF equal to phi Z N by 60 and to P by A from the C proportional to Z N by A. E proportional to Z N by P since A equal to P for a lap winding. Z proportional to E P by N. Thus Z proportional to P. When pole increases conductors increases thus labor cost increases. Commutator length. Taking a two pole machine IT will have two brushes. For a lap winding number of parallel path equal to number of poles. Here it is 2. So current high will divide through this paths as I by 2. Thus brush current will be I by 2 plus I by 2 equal to I taking a four pole machine IT have four brushes. For a lap winding number of parallel path equal to poles. Here it is 4. So current high will divide through this paths as I by 4. Thus brush current will be I by 4 plus I by 4 equal to I by 2. Small the no of poles brush current is high and need more area for brushes and commutator length increases. Flash over. Number of pole increases number of brushes increases and chances for flash over increases. Distortion of field MMF. When number of pole increases. Armature MMF per pole decreases. Distortion of field flux decreases. Factors for the choice of number of poles. Frequency of flux reversal should be between 25 to 50 Hz. The current per parallel path is limited to 200 ampere. Current per brush arm is limited to 400 Hz. Armature MMF per pole can be selected as per the table. Up to 100 kW armature MMF per pole is 5000 ampere. From 100 to 500 kW it is 5000 to 7500 ampere. 500 to 1500 it is 7500 to 10000 ampere. Over 1500 kW it is. Up to 12500 ampere. Next video contains problems on selection of number of poles. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and share for more videos.